we're going to go through the calibration steps for the spectrometer. First of all, we want to make sure that the table's lined up for the students. The instructions have to be written in such a way that they can all navigate through the table. And so this is at about 253 and a half in the lab menu. It tells them to put it at 252. And down here, there's a set screw. We can just gently loosen just a little bit. And that will free the table, allowing it to, um, to turn. So I'll put it about 252. A little bit premature, because I'm going to adjust things. We're going to try to line this up. So I'm putting the flashlight right at the collimator slit, and then I'm looking inside the scope to see if I can see the line going straight through the prism. And I've got it lined up now. And so now, just double check that we've got this at about 252. It looks like we've accomplished that. So the next step is to, um, to bring the telescope around so that we see the spectral lines. And with this light source here, we're just going to see a kind of a rainbow effect. And I wonder if we can actually see it through here. That'll be interesting. Let's try to hold this and... Oh, cool. This might work. So we're just turning the um, telescope. Well, let me do it with my eye first. Oops. <laughs> Until we see some rainbow. Oh, there it is. So let's see if we can look inside here. Oh, yeah. See the rainbow? Now we're ready to put the light source right in front of the collimator, right in front of the slit. And I put it, oh, just a couple millimeters from the slit. It's almost touching. Let me turn it on. And then I'm gonna move the light source back and forth, side to side with my hand while looking through the scope until the lines are as, as bright as possible. And then I'm gonna put my uh, cover over the top, and that's going to allow me to see the lines. Let's see if we can see those lines. Ooh, yeah. Now there's a couple adjustments we need to make for calibration. If the lines appear really wide, they should be real thin like that green one there. If the lines appear really, really wide, then we're going to adjust the slit right here. Just a slight adjustment will make it more narrow. Next step is to focus the collimator. And then the next step is to focus the telescope. Okay, so we start with the slit to get very narrow slits, and then we adjust the collimator to get a cleaner line, and then we get rid of the blur with the telescope focus. So we do it in that order. And when we're done, these lines actually look pretty nice. You can see all the imperfections in the slit when it's done well. So this system would be calibrated and ready for the class. And we don't want these to be on. I've already gone against what we're supposed to do, 30 seconds at the longest. And once calibration is finished, I normally just leave it in this configuration with the telescopes. And we put the cover back on and then make sure that you unplug the light source. Turn off the flashlight and just set it right there. And spectroscopy is calibrated, ready for the students to use.